Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, we're going to check it out how to create some drips in After Effects. First thing, click on the composition. Gonna go and type drips. You're gonna go width 1080, height 1920. You're gonna go with seven seconds, 30 frames per second, black background, click OK. I'm gonna drag in the logo, the vector logo, and drop it here. Click on merge layer, click OK. I'm gonna drag and drop the logo. I'm gonna right click, go to create and create shape from vector layer. I'm gonna delete the original vector and I'm gonna be left with this one. I'm gonna press the letter S for scale. I'm gonna scale it down and I'm gonna press the letter R for rotate and I'm gonna rotate something like this. And now we're gonna type into the effects and presets smear. So this is the CC smear. So I'm gonna drag and drop on the logo. So as you can see, it distorts in this direction. The main idea is to click on the CC smear here. So it's going to appear some circles, which one is here. So I'm going to drag this circle like in this position and I'm going to drag all the way here. And we have another circle somewhere. It's right here, as you can see, and I'm going to drag it in this position and I'm going to align it. As you can see, the radius in us is on 80 and the reach is on 100. So I'm going to increase the reach, the reach, sorry, and the drip is going to drip. See that? So the default is going to be on zero. And if I increase it, it's going to start dripping. So what I'm going to do is leave it on zero. Uh, I'm going to click on the stopwatch and make sure that you're at the beginning here. Click on the stopwatch and pull this. I'm going to pull this to somewhere around three. And I'm going to increase this until it ends. So it's going to be somewhere around 500, 600. And let's see what happens. Boom. There you go. And of course, you can duplicate this. I'm going to press Control D and work with the top one. I'm going to click on the CC smear and rearrange it. Maybe position it here and here. Now we have like two drips. I'm going to go to the effects, go to effects, CC smear. I'm going to push this a little bit to the one second, see what happens. There you go. You also can select both of the diamonds, right click, keyframe assist, click on easy ease for smoother animation. And this is it basically. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.